Good afternoon. Welcome. Thank you for being here today. We're so excited with the announcement that uh, we have to share with you as we introduce Coach Greystone as the new head volleyball coach at Texas Tech University. But before I do that, uh, allow me to uh, say a, a few words of thanks. I want to start by thanking uh, members of our volleyball program and our volleyball team. I tell you, I've been so impressed over the course of the past uh, number of weeks uh, with how they've handled the change, the transition, the uncertainty of what lies ahead, the professional demeanor and positive attitude that these young women have uh, exemplified during this time uh, has been terrific and makes me proud to serve as the athletics director at Texas Tech University, and a few of them are here today, and thank you all for everything that you continue to do to represent our university. I also want to thank uh, Sandy Collins and Judy Henry. Uh, they worked side beside me during this search and did an incredible job navigating uh, this search process to lead us to where we are today, and we are absolutely confident that we found the best leader possible for our volleyball program as we move forward. Uh, Teresa Bowman's here. Teresa, thank you for being the steady uh, influence within the volleyball program during this time of change, but also day to day uh, for these young women to lean on and somebody who's always there for them. So thank you for everything that you continue to do for the program. With that, as we set out uh, on this search, we wanted to find a proven winner, we wanted to find a leader, and we wanted to find the perfect fit for Texas Tech University and Texas Tech Volleyball, and I'm confident that we have accomplished all of those things. A uh, proven winner uh, through his career, 17 years as a head volleyball coach, has won at every uh, stop, at every level that he has been at, uh, 10 years as the head volleyball coach at West Texas A&M, incredible success, became the fastest coach in NCAA history in all sports to reach 100 wins. That is a proven winner. In the last seven years as the head coach at Texas A&M Corpus Christi, you cannot find a volleyball program who has made more drastic improvements over that seven-year span than his teams did. In this past year, finishing at 34-5, and five, uh, most wins in Division I volleyball this season. I think we have found a proven winner. As we talk to people around the country at the previous universities that he's worked with, as we talk to people uh, in the game of volleyball, and uh, a consistent theme, a consistent message we heard was a leader of young people, a leader of young women, not only on the volleyball court, but in life. And uh, so I think we have found a proven winner to take this program forward. And a fit, I don't think there's a better fit for Texas Tech volleyball. Any man who uh, will leave his home state of Michigan and come to West Texas to find his wife uh, is a smart man. And we were very impressed uh, from the beginning. So before I officially introduce Coach Greystone uh, as our head volleyball coach, I have not had the privilege to meet, but I do see uh, Lauren, his wife, and his two sons, Drew and Dylan, are with us. So we've got a few gifts. If they would come up and let us officially welcome them to the Texas Tech family. Drew? We're so excited that, that y'all are here. Look forward to seeing you at, at many athletic events and volleyball matches in the years to come. So without further delay, uh, I'm so pleased and welcome to, to introduce our new head volleyball coach today, Tony Greystone. Tony, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. This, this turnout is incredible. Uh, although it shouldn't be unexpected, this, to me, this is West Texas. This is what I remember from when I was up there um, 
those years and, and the experience I had, the people that I got to know, uh, this is exactly w what I'm used to and, and what I remember. Um, my, my visit this week was so impressive. Um, and, and so I'm not surprised by any of this. This is, this is so good, but I'm going to expect all of you to be here in the fall, and um, we're, we're going we're gonna to have a big crowd. I, before I go any further, I just want to thank uh, Kirby and Judy and Sandy and every, everybody else that I got to know this week. It, there is such a, a positive energy around the athletic department. Um, everybody's on the same page. They know exactly what they're trying to do here and, and the path that they're trying to take, uh, and I couldn't be more excited to be a part of that and, and jump right in. Um, you know, as we keep talking about this idea of what a fit for this program is and, and what it means to be here and, and what's expected and, and what we're trying to do. And, um, you know, I keep thinking about the time that I spent at West Texas. And, uh, you know, that was a program that was, was very good and it was about maintaining it. It was about re building a recruiting base outside of the panhandle and getting players from throughout the state to want to be a part of that. Um, and could be happy in in Canyon, Texas. That was that was a challenge. That was a challenge, and and we were able to get that done, and and had a lot of success. I went down to Corpus, and that was a completely different thing. That was that was building. That was there was nothing there to begin with, and we had to really teach them about uh, good habits and patterns and winning attitudes and and change a culture and find that success and and build a brand and a name for ourselves. And so, you know, I, I keep thinking that all these, these different things that I've been a part of and, and really what uh, Texas Tech Volleyball is looking for right now and what they need, um, I think, I think I'm, I've got that ready. So, you know, we're, we're in, we're ready to, to send that message forward and, and really get started. But, um, you, you know, I couldn't be happier to be here. And um, I know that there's so much support waiting for me and um, we're, we're gonna get this done. So um, I thank you all for being here. Um, you, We've got uh, a lot of family in town, and, and um, so I'm gonna apologize in advance. We get a little crazy sometimes, and uh, but they're they're very passionate and very supportive, very loyal, and uh, they're they're gonna be there right with us all through it. So, um, so there you go. So I'm I'm happy to answer any questions, um, and uh, look forward to working with each and every one of you. Hey, Tony, Andrew Doak with KMAC. How are you today? Hi. Uh, first, congratulations. Uh, second, this is obviously a program that's that struggled. You talked about changing the culture. You've obviously had success with where you've been at, but what just gives you the confidence uh, that, that you have what it takes to turn around a program that's struggled in the last well, few years? Well, part of it is experience and, and going through something that was in such bad shape. You, you know, uh, we can talk about what the struggles are here, but trust me, I, I've seen so much worse and uh, there, there's this message that you have to send on a daily basis and just this example to set and, and find these core players that you can build around that will carry the coach's message forward to the rest of the team and you know you just start building you know class upon class on top of itself and bringing the right players and and before you know it you've got things flipped and turned around and and so the good thing here is I know that there's a core group of players that really uh, love it here and they want to be here. They're, they're wanting to be successful. They're willing to put in the work. Uh, and I think that the message that I'm going to send from day one is, is going to be well accepted and we'll just jump right in. Hey, Coach, uh, Ben Peck from Fox 34 here in Lubbock. I uh, just wanted to ask, uh, I know each circumstance, each school is different uh, along the way, but what are some of the qualities of the teams uh, from your teams at West Texas and uh, a and Corpus Christi that you think uh, this can translate well to this uh, Red Raider sure, team. Sure, sure. I think we're, we've always been known as a group that just plays really hard and has this energy and this enthusiasm about us. Our, our fans are going to love watching the product we put out there. They're going to really be a fun team to watch. But in terms of actual volleyball, you know, we have these ideas about, you know, how we score points and that we're, we're going to be very good about the decisions that we make. Uh, we're going to be fast and have some tempo and, and be good offensively. But, you know, the things that we do fundamentally are, are going to be based around just, you know, not beating ourselves. We're, we're going to really um, fight hard for those points. We're going to be very good when we get in trouble and get out of system a little bit. Uh, and we're going to always have some things that we're grounded to within the systems that we play. Uh, I guess uh, first for you, Coach, and then Kirby, if you wouldn't mind weighing in. Uh, what did your time at West Texas make you feel comfortable in coming here and accepting this job? And Kirby, what did his experience uh, at West Texas and what he was able to do there 
make you comfortable making uh, that hire to bring him back to West Texas? Yeah, my time at WT was, you know, again, I, I came in as an assistant in our first year. We won a national championship. Um, and then a, a year later, I was promoted to head coach. And so I kind of got fast tracked, but, you know, so I needed that time to really define myself as a coach and, and a style that, that suited me. And so I, I think now I can look back on it now, and I know that those, those first years at West Texas was really about me developing as a coach and, you know, the things that I ground myself to, my philosophies and so on. But, you know, there was such a support system there, this nurturing mentality among the fan base and the community that they weren't going to let me fail. You know, it was that program could not, um, you know, not make it, you know, and, and I was in such good hands. Uh, and as I grew and, and gained confidence in myself and really knew what I was all about, um, then things really took off. So I can go back to those times and, and again, I'm sitting here and I know where my support system is uh, and we're going to do it and we're going to do it together. You know, we saw with Coach Greystone a, a, a man who has been a head coach for 17 years. Uh, he has sat in that chair for an extended amount of time. He has uh, continued successful programs forward as he did at uh, West Texas A&M, and he has rebuilt programs like he did at Texas A&M Corpus Christi. So uh, we saw a experienced leader, an experienced head coach that uh, just on top of that had direct connections to West Texas. So uh, I th I believe we found uh, the absolute best leader and somebody who brings uh, the total package to this chair uh, here today. Tony, uh, I'm sure you'd like to recruit all over the state and, and uh, across the country, but how much talent do you feel like is just in the West Texas area? And of course, there's just a team up the road that's won plenty of state titles just about an hour and a half away. Yeah, there's a few of them up there. And, and you, can, you can look at every level of um, Texas high school volleyball, every division. And there's multiple state championships coming out of the Panhandle all the time. And uh, fortunately, I've, I've still stayed connected to those those places. And um, you know, we're going to be in on these these West Texas kids. You know, we're we're not going to let them get away without a fight. Um, but but I've also done a really nice job of developing a fan base or a recruiting base um, throughout in the major markets throughout the rest of the state. So we've been very good in Dallas. And then as I moved down into Corpus, we've gotten into Houston and Antonio really strongly. So. Um, I feel like we know the right people, and um, and I, I I've been getting phone calls all morning of you know we're ready to get started. We we got to get it get going. Coach Jeff McGuire, Double T, ninety seven three. What is the first order of business for your program right now? What's the first thing you've got to get done? I got to meet the team. I got to get to know them. I got to see what we're all about, where our strengths and weaknesses are, um, and what style of play that they they they're used to right now, and how that's going to fit in with what I do. And we just got to get on the same page and. And as we do that, then we start thinking about the talent we're going to bring in and, and where we're going to fill in those gaps and, and putting that long-range plan together that we can start to execute. So first things first, we, we got to know what we're starting with and, and then go from there. What knowledge do you have of the program as you come in on day one? Um, well, we played – they played the Corpus team uh, a year ago, so I saw firsthand what, what the team was like. And, and obviously in Texas, um, everybody sees everybody. We're at the same event, so I, I know – you know these players from their club days, and and was able to see them uh, before they committed to, to Tech, and so um, there's a familiarity of them as athletes, but not as people, and and that's where we're starting with. Do you have any other questions? Okay. Very good. Thank y'all.